What's going on guys? Bosch of 10 here and today, well, we've got a uh, commentary and uh, we're here at the Caesars Dome, aka, you know, well, uh, the Louisiana Superdome. Coming up first is Caleb Blood and the Soldier of Fortune. Now, originally I just want to let you guys know real quick. The World Finals was originally said, or rather I think, planned. It was originally planned to be its own video upload, but because the storage was, well, too much, that would have probably caused my phone to have flames, decided not to do it. Now here in New Orleans, we have an interesting type of looking track. We have a very interesting film. We'll get to some other people here very soon. Good really start off. I had a, the World Falls was, uh, at least from there, I already don't remember the World Falls because it's been one week since it happened. I remember the big ones and a lot of talking points about it. Um, if you saw that video, you probably would have disagreed with a couple of my decisions, mainly that I thought Wes and Anderson probably should have maybe won that, but you know, that video will never be seen. Kayla's come out first, and she's put together overall some good performances. Now, this is pretty much the end of the 2023 season. This is pretty much going to be the last show I'm going to cover before I change it to 2024. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of smoke coming to the back. I don't know if that's from the transmission or engine or not. Again, I can't hear it because, well, I'm trying to talk to and not have the video play through. So, terrible. Gonna get going around. She's carrying solid momentum enough, and that's a good air right there. Nice air going through. Okay, just got a little spark. And that's a little drop right there. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some, uh, and that'll that might do it right there. There's definitely some uh, issues going on. She might have gotten shut off as well. She's trying to get going. She wants to keep going. In but I doubt they're probably, or maybe they are. I don't know. Also, by the way, yes, this is Regan's. Uh, yeah. yeah, you might be able to tell me the Okay, thank you for that. There we go. Push. Big air off the race lane jump. That's a big time air off the race lane jump. Uh, yeah, she's got issues with the steering. She's had some issues with the steering because it's not exactly 100%, I don't think. She gets a great air, though. Oh, come on. Oh, oh that is a. Oh, I couldn't get it. That is a big time crash right there. That's big time. Good run to start off. That will probably be a winning run. Then again, I dev said that before when Nick Pag managed to win that show in Super Cruise. Can't get it over. Okay, so this is gonna be an issue. I guess those scores will be taken, which is not gonna be a good thing. So I'm actually not gonna know what the league is. This is not a monster real. This is real. so I'm not gonna be able to know scores. So yeah, this is not gonna be as easy. Anyways, coming up next is your World Racing Champion. Yes, World Racing Champion, Tristan England in the Earthshaker. Now, that is a bit of a shocking type of move. But, uh, yeah. And it's something now. Tristan had a great season, but very few of us actually thought, you know, he would actually go on to, well, win a racing championship. Does that matter? Um, but, yeah. Been a great team for Tristan. Hey, he's got the big air off there. <clears throat> Keeping it going. I think this, this upcoming year, we need to see Tristan in a, a, the Stain Tour. Because he's doing a good job, and he's proving it right there. <clears throat> nice little Lily. The kid from Texas, not that, which is not far from where this is. This is New Orleans. Nice job. He was all hey, He's got a good run, continuing on. Nice air. And, oh, he's going to go back to the room. That is a, oh, 
Bro, the falling bar there. He's still gonna try to go. He's still trying to go, but no, they shut him off. Yeah, he still tried to go, but yeah, there's no chance. Broke a four link bar and knows it, and that's run over. Good run, though, for Tristan England and our shaker up the point until he absolutely destroyed it. It is a. So, yeah, there it is. And coming up next now, I believe this is. This is well, this. Uh, 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 here comes this thing. Thank God we didn't have to see this at the World Finals. But here is ugly, disgusting, disgraceful, ridiculous. I mean, screwed up. Ugly, ridiculous, disgusting, disgraceful, excuse me, monster truck here. I saw a photo of that. Of uh, this thing. And it ran in with at least the teeth. Even though the teeth was still very bright. Bad. I will definitely take that over this just horribleness of the scheme. Uh, yeah, uh, this is Dave Oatley. I did get the name. I ran off there. I did not look into the line on that last time. Oh, he went on the line there. So I think Dave definitely probably will be in the stadium for next year. I, in my opinion, they should. Not only, and I, not only do I think they will, they should expand. Wow, that is some big air though off that thing. So, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I think they should probably expand to three stand tours. Because they have so many trucks in the back. Yeah. This is a different line than one we've seen for most of this year. Nice job. Just going to get a nice wheelie. He's going to walk it. Into the mound. So keep it going. Another nice view there. And again, I'm not again. Again, the scoring is not shown. So whatever scores will be shown is in the top left corner. I cannot figure out the scores. There will not even be known scores. Oh! <laughs> he's still able to go. That looked very cool. Almost went over, but he's able to keep it going. Dave Oakley in the ugly, ridiculous, disgusting, disgraceful excuse of a monster. Didn't get it. Turning around, he's actually gonna try and get into the donuts. Oh, get a donut going. And that will do it. This will probably be the leading run from that backflip. Likely. And that did look pretty cool, though. Uh oh. Here come, uh, coming up next. Here comes this dude. First time appearance of Brutus in a long time. Here it comes. Rookie of the Year winner. A kid that is probably going to be winning the World Championship in one of these upcoming years. Chris Cole. And there he goes. I think that's Adam in Grave Digger. Yeah. Marks of Adam. He's been. In the grave digger. Now, Chris has been a wild man this year. He's definitely done a lot and has definitely had some great runs. This is when I look at Chris Kohler's season and him as a driver, his run, freestyle run at uh, SoFi State, he's backing up, gets him nicer to start off. But his run at SoFi State was still one of the best freestyles of the year, and that saying was absolutely outstanding. And shows what type of talent we do have. And that is Ari Sabayer off the race lane jump. He's already been the sway bar and got it listing off to the side in a Team Scream style. Hey, there again. And he's going to almost walk it. I thought he broke something. He's just getting it going. He's getting the momentum. Oh, he's going to go for the inside. Wow. Big time air off the... Uh, and uh, he's gonna spin around. I believe this, I believe your leader is the last one, or I almost called it the actual name. The ugly, disgusting, ridiculous, disgraceful, he's using monster. Chris Kohler looking all right to get some big time air and get the lead here in the Brutus. Getting it 
Let's go around. Wow! He completely launched it off the raceway. He is just launching it off the raceway. Jump. He ain't need to go to any other side. All he needs to do is go for the raceway jump. Oh, here comes back with time. Oh boy. Perfect landing. That is one of the more perfect landings I've seen. Seen. Wow. That is a, that is a big time error again. He's just bouncing it off everything. This is a great run for Chris. Another great run for Chris Kohler. Oh, he's even going. Oh, he's cross threaded. We don't know where I see this often. <laughs> oh, that is a rough landing. And that might. No, he's still going in the team screen style. He's still able to drive away, but they shut him off. There's your wild factor. That might get him the lead right there. The other still might go. And a truck that, well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That right there is already move of the show and a move wild factor of the year. And there it is, Chris Kohler. Yeah, I suspect they'll probably get lead, though they're not showing the scores at all. Coming up next. Dossier. Lucas all stabilizer. There is no Kermit, so. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, seriously, anyway, Cynthia's gonna be coming around here. And he's gonna be getting some nice air there. Let's get turn around. So he has had a solid year. No, yeah, uh, basically, the issue with trying to go through World Files results is that I don't really remember any of the other runs. Other than, like, the top five runs, and I don't think any of them. They're in the top five. Right here. That's a good, that's good air. Cynthia, I'd like to say. Lucas Soul State Larson. Look the score, or the B, or at least the leader is. Again, the race lane jump is providing some of us the most insane air. Yeah, I believe Chris Kohler is the leader in the Brutus. I believe. But he has some interesting stuff going on. Looks like she's going. Oh, she's going. For, oh, no. She's just getting. Oh, she's getting some runs. Oh, she's going to send it through her free and in here. That's a big time air. Uh oh, she's in trouble. And she's in big trouble. And that is some big time air. And that is a bunch of destroyed crap, including shocks all broken off the thing. And, uh, yeah, we'll not get the lead. Wild factor for sure, but it will not be the lead. Uh oh, uh oh, here comes this man. This is Tim Jones and the Tailgator. Now your eyes are not saving you. This is the Tailgator truck, the winner of the um, uh, Monster X Tour, I believe, in their season, or uh, May Monster Tour. And he's already said some big time here on the race. Wow, uh oh, no! <laughs> Wow! What a debut! Or actually, this isn't even his debut. What a friggin' return that is. Unfriggin' believable. Wow! <laughs> wow! That, that is unbelievable. One and done. That's up there for the worst freestyles I've ever seen. Well, now that's out of the way. Here comes uh, El Toro Loco and Armando Castro. Nice wheelie to start off. I'm gonna try and get a turn around. Ooh, he, I think he was trying to maybe get, well, or maybe he was trying to do some action. Now Armando is a lead in the arena series. I suspect that he may be making a stadium, the Steam series debut. This is not a Steam debut, but it's the actual series. He may run his first Steam series series. Nah, oh, that's nice. Nice move on. Do a nice job. Get going. He's got a. Oh, okay. Again, do this. Good job. He's only going around a bit. Again, I believe they're scored me up. I believe it's Chris Kohler, I suspect. Nice job again. Now you get Castro competing in his first World Files. So yeah, 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 right. Yeah. That's a problem, man. Got what she in here. And 
big corner around. And he's gonna get to big time there. Oh, he completely cleared it. It does not end up like Cynthia or Tim Jones for that matter. And we'll continue on. Oh, wow, he's at the big time air. And that body's flailing, but I think it'll stay on at least most of it. I don't know about a few nose, though. And, uh, one of the hard things. Oh, he got thrown off to a very hot side, and there goes two. He blew. He definitely looked like he blew the tire. I don't know if he did or didn't. If it didn't, then B-Blocks sure played the more. That looked very ugly landing, though. Yeah, he's blowing a tire. Deep blue blow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Both. It is. It is both left rear tire. Left side tires. I think it was ever a back. That was definitely a spectacular move. But yeah, I thought he did blow one, at least one tire, but and I suspect being two. Good run for Armando Castro. Down, I'm not sure it will be the lead, but yeah, that thing's ready. It's two. I suspect. Again, I suspected both. Left side tires were blown. Good treatment. Coming up next, World Fight. Uh oh, ow! Okay, I just slammed my desk. Probably, guys, probably just got very un freaking like good hearing. Coming up next, this is Ryan Dishroom. And he's getting a perfect position to nail it. And this is the shake. Now, Ryan in the house is actually getting a good run going. He's cooking a lot until he decided he didn't want to have a, well, right front tire for that matter. But yeah, he's definitely proved himself this year. Has had a very good season. And yeah, made his debut at the World Cup. Uh, I don't think many people, I mean, people expected him to destroy the truck. However, Miku would have think he would uh, be running like he did, though, before that happened. And overall, a decent year. And... That is a nice wheelie, by the way. That, that looked very good. Um, shaker. Oh, he's getting... Uh, Ryan's getting... Oh, he's getting some big-time air. He's getting some big-time air. Big-time air. It will not do what Castro did, though. And he just nuke it in the ground. Trying to make himself look like Randy Brown. And then it's a big-time air by uh, Shaker. And the front clip's about to come off. It's gonna might come off off of this hit. Nice job. He's still going. This is a solid run. I don't know if he'll be enough to lead. He'll definitely have to do something major. Have a wild factor. I think he'll definitely have, to have a wild factor for sure. This is a good, consistent run, though. And he's going to go to the backflip here. And nice landing. A nice landing. He's going to keep it going. Again, yeah, I haven't really seen much of a wild factor. He has had some good air. That's a, again some nice air again, but I think definitely it's it's either Armand. I, I I'm not sure if Cash is or if who it is still Chris Cole, but let's have to be a lead. I feel like we don't gotta do some major here to get the lead here, and uh, yeah, that probably looks to be it for the Shaker and Ryan Dishroom. Yeah, good run overall. I suspect it will probably Eight not be, seven, you know, lead, but I digress. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Oh, no, it isn't Adam. It's Weston. Weston making a stage, making his first nod. Uh, World Files appearance in Gravedure in a stadium. And here comes Weston Anderson coming out. So that's why Cash was going to, I believe. Well, what's Cash? I don't know. <laughs> He's looking over at Armando right now before going through it. Here he comes. This is where I'm it out. Here he comes. We have only two trucks left. This is one or three trucks left, maybe. If Je Adventure is in fact coming out. Here he comes. It's grave to your time. Now Weston was cooking up one that I argued, even though if he didn't even fill the clock, I didn't. I wasn't sure if he filled the clock or not. But even if he did fill the clock, he had easier run that I think, in my opinion, could have and maybe should have won the World Cup. But I'd say much more than even Todd Leduc, who had a solid run and definitely better than Colvin Arts. 
Now you get blessed in. Obviously, son of Dennis. He's had a great. He's had another great season in arenas. And I think after his World Finals performance, and especially depending on this performance, I think he should. With th in my opinion, then Mashim should bring back three tours, and Weston should be in one of the three tours. Because he's already doing something that uh, more than many of his teammates have done. And this is a good run already. Yeah, the Grave Digger going around. Okay, he's playing some interesting strategy now. That's a weird looking kick, but he's still able to keep it going. It's a good run now. He's definitely had, he's definitely had a good momentum. He's had some nice air as well. And again, I feel like it's going to be Castro or um, Kohler in the lead. And one of the two. You're definitely have a wild, I feel like you're going to have to have a wild factor. And I tell you, Weston is starting to get into close to the ballpark. Yeah, we have about two, three trucks left. Uh, so far, so far. It still feels like he does need a wild factor. He's having a good run, though. I think he's definitely looking. He's going. Oh, he's going to go for the other side. Unless he spins around on the other side. And looking for it. Oh, just like Wild Fox. Oh, but he got it right into a moonwalk. Oh, but he destroyed a lot of stuff there. They're definitely with something messed up. They shut him off. Let's see. He, they, they're going to let me go. He, he, I'm not sure he broke something. Yeah, he is going in a grave digger style. Yeah, he's broken the rear steer. He's broken the rear steer. And a nice touch to Chris Kohler. There, the, uh, uh, he's definitely in the ballpark. I don't know if he will get the lead, but that was definitely a very grave digger style. As he just threw it right in there at the end. Again, I have no clue if it will be the lead or not. But definitely still, though, a good run for Weston Anderson, nonetheless. And I think another showing of reason why he should be in this game, too. I think we've got two runs left. It was either two, two or three. I think it is two off. This is Corey Rommel in the Megalodon. Now, the score to be is between one of the three, whether it's Weston, uh, Armando, or uh, Chris Collar. It's between one of the three, I suspect. If it isn't, I'm shocked. Yeah, those so far have been the best three guys. Um, yeah, Corey Rommel's had, he's had a solid season. I don't think he's really won much. He's won a couple of the competitions, but well, hold on. He has solid world finals. As of what I saw. Get it in a nice wheelie. Get it almost. Yeah, overall, again, we'll see where this run is. He's, it's just another solid run. It's kind of your Corey Rumble type of run, but I don't. Right now, again, you're definitely have wild. I feel like you'd have to have wild factor. Backflip, which is probably obvious. And it's a pretty good air like that. And then turn around. Oh, that's a big time air though. Landing on the tabletop. Yeah, gonna get spun. Oh, he's getting an angle. He's going for it. He's gonna try and get some. Or he might be strategizing his move. That's a more big time air. And it's uh. Oh, is he gonna be going for the same? Oh, I thought he was gonna be going for the same move that Chris Gordon. No, he's gonna be going cross straight to tabletop. And we're gonna hold. We're kind of getting a different type of, a bit of a different type of run here with uh, Corey Rommel. He's definitely doing a good job at keeping momentum, and he's trying to maybe get a, um, trying to get a uh, two wheel. Oh, is he? 
Oh, he just backed up over there. Alright, that's a nice little touch. Doubt it will be the lead, but it's still a solid run nonetheless for Corey Rumble. So yeah, coming up next, we'll this is our last trick out. It is Kanda Murphy and the Bakugan Dragonoid. Truck. Let's see what Kanda's got up. Made it to the final round in the world final before losing to Tristan England. A guy who I feel like definitely you should you could say should probably have a world champion at this point. Shaki has not got one yet. We'll see if he can get one though in the next year's world finals. Uh, we're around now. This is Bakugan Dragon Wing. Let's see what Kenny Murphy's got cooking. Here, looking Spinning around. Nice. Nice. Let's go again. Again, Candom's been around this for about five years. It's been around here five years, but uh, he's already taken the brain as a major veteran. And this is what a whole lot. To try taking it to add for the championship this year. Couldn't do it. Couldn't it was complete, but still had some great drives. Definitely, uh, definitely, in my opinion, probably will win the championship next year, whichever series he's in. The same series. Nice job again. Now, somebody, he's kind of, again, he's having the ragged edge of the type of run. And, um, we're in now again. Now, now that's a nice air. That's a big time air. There goes one of the wings off the corner, so I don't think it'll be much of an issue. So I'm going to try and get going. Yeah, he's over strategized hit here. He's being very strategic. Now, we'll see. What happens here? He's gonna go over the back foot, I think. And here we go. Going for it. Nice job. Yes! The hard wheel moonwalk, and it actually worked! It actually worked! Weston and couldn't get it actually completed. And then it's a big time here. He's going for it. Oh, two wheels, and he's still able to go. Now he's in contain. Oh! What a save! Now he's in the ballpark for sure to get the lead here. Can I'm looking to try and get us more out of the race lane jump. And he just angles it so well as well. Just stop, gets the tires there, gets the truck to rotate. And now Cannon Murphy has a chance to win the whole damn thing. Oh, there's smoke coming out there though. They're the Oh boy, that, that's looking a bit serious. Yeah. yeah, that is very a barbecue ish like. And he got out of there in like five seconds. That is the fastest escape. Move over, Damon Bradshaw. That was the fastest escape. So that's like escape out of the, the house. I was going to make a joke about escaping the house, but I realized that was probably not going to be an appropriate joke to make. So, I'm not do that. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> he throws his helmet in the air. Cannon Murray lit this place on fire, and I think that some of that, definitely, that probably the best run of the night. And I suspect it will probably be the winning run. Let's see what the scores are. That is the score, and it does look like he has won it. Cam Murphy and the Bakugan Dragonoid. It looks to be your winner of freestyle. Very obviously, <coughs> that run was cooking, literally. And, yeah. I think that's going to do it here, though, for the freestyle. Pretty wild show. This has been Macho in Phantasm 10. And, uh, yeah. See you guys, uh, see you guys, uh, next time.